The emergence, the birth of Killer of Enemies, and the slaying of the monsters. In the beginning, they were going to create human beings. The part about that is not very long. Then comes the part about Killer of Enemies, and that is longer. The white men have their way, and the Indians have theirs. I am going to do my best to explain the way of the Indian. Down in the lower world, at the beginning, there was no light. There was only darkness. Down there, at the bottom, were some people. They knew of no other place. They lived there. They held a council down there. They discussed whether there was another world. They decided to send someone above to find out. They looked at each other and asked who should be sent out. One said, How about wind? They asked him. Wind agreed to go. Wind went upward. He was a whirlwind. He came to this earth. Nothing but water covered the earth then. He rolled back the water like a curtain. After the wind rolled back the water, land appeared. The water was all at one side. Then they sent Crow out to look over the dry land. Crow saw the dead fish that had been left on the dry land. He stayed there and picked out the eyes of the fish. He didn't come back as he had promised to do. At that time, the land was very level. There was no mountains on the earth. The ground was just like ashes or like places where there is white alkali on the earth's surface now. The crow never came back. The people below wondered what had happened to him. They wanted news, so they sent Beaver out. The water was getting low now. Instead of going back to his people, Beaver busied himself building dams. He went around from stream to stream. The people below wondered what had happened to him. Then, because the beaver did not come back, they sent Badger out. He was faithful to his fellows in the lower world. He came up and looked around. He saw that it was all dry up there. He went back and told the others. They were all happy for he was the only one who did faithful work. Then they sent four others after that, four men, to look over this world above. These four, first four who came up on the earth to prepare it were what were called by the word that means Indians. I know of no other name for them. These four chose one from who were to be made of the things of this earth as we know it now. They selected Mirage. They put Mirage in the form of a ball. They walked away from Mirage and looked. It looked very pretty. The ball of Mirage became a part of this earth. Now they fix the world. They are going to make hills and mountains. They made a little lightning. They made little arroyos, and water came running to them. That is the way the earth and the mountains and the hills and the water were made. At first it was all level, but of mirage they made all the things of this earth. Now all was ready on the earth, springs and channels were made. All was prepared for the people of the lower world. Then the people of the lower world prepared to ascend. They came up to the old upper world. They are here now. After they came up, they moved around to the edge of the earth clockwise. All these people were animals, birds, trees, and bushes. The real humans were not here yet. Animals, birds, grass, and trees were people at that time and could talk as humans do. They had one language and all understood each other. These were the first people. Even the rocks and plants that are on the earth now were among these people. All these were the first people, those who were first on this earth. The animal and the tree people came out first. The real humans came after them. Different kinds of animals and birds, the different grasses and trees, each represents a different tribe. When they started from the place of the emergence, 
the first place to stop were the Western people, the Chiricahua, perhaps. As they went along clockwise, different peoples dropped off. As they stopped, they became different tribes and had different languages. You shall be such and such a people, and speak this language, they were told. This is how all these different tribes and languages were made. All the northern tribes used a dog for the horse. They used a dog for the horse at that time, and they moved north. At the very end of the journey, the Tonkawa dropped off with the Lipan. The Lipan were the very last to stop on the journey and find a home. Now all the people were fixed. When the people first came out and were going, cl and were going clockwise, they came to a certain stream. There the willow people stopped. We'll stay and live here, they said. That's why they, the willow tree is both green and gray. It stands for the old and young at the same time. Then a little later, the alligator barked juniper stopped. I shall live here, he said. He was wearing turquoise be beads, which became his berries. Later on, another of the juniper people stopped. He too had turquoise beads, which he still wears. Another juniper stopped next. He selected his place and stands wearing turquoise. These beads became his berries. There was still another kind of juniper who stopped next. He was wearing reddish beads, and they turned into his berries. Next, Oak stopped. He was wearing black stones on his head. These are his acorns now. As they went along, another kind of oak stopped. He wore, he too wore black stones for decorations. Next was an oak too. This one was also wearing black stones, which are now his acorns. Next, a fourth oak found a place he liked. He too wore black stones. As they went along, the choke cherry stopped, and it has red berries now, for it was wearing red beads that day. Then another tree stopped at some little hills on the east side of the Pecos. The hills run from south to southeast. While they were moving, they did not stop and sleep. They just kept moving all the time. At this place, they decided to sleep. However, someone put down a white walking cane over them. Then they went to sleep. As the night passed, then the people woke up the next day and journeyed again. They moved clockwise. The moon and sun took the lead then. They were with the people. The sun is the man. The moon is the woman. The moon they call changing woman. These two, they sa these two said, we'll go ahead and we'll separate, but we'll meet each other. And when they meet, there is an eclipse. Before they left the people, they said, Nothing will you disturb, you people. Everything ahead is good for you people. The sun and moon said, We will take care. We will take the lead now. We will keep on going. We will never stop. No matter what happens here on earth, we will always keep going. The moon is changing woman, and the sun is killer of enemies. And when he left the world, he went back to the sun, and he is there now.